What we're going to do in this video is learn how to use a graphing calculator, in particular a TI-84. If you're using any other TI, Texas Instruments calculator, it'll be very similar. In order to answer some questions dealing with the geometric random variables. So here we have a scenario. I keep picking cards from a standard deck until I get a king. So this is a classic geometric random variable here, and it's important that in this parentheses it says, I replace the cards if they are not a king. And this is important, as we talk about in other videos, because the probability of success each time can't change. And so we could define some random variable, x, this is a geometric random variable, as being equal to the number of picks until, until we get a king. Until we get a king when we replace the cards if they are not a king. And for this geometric random variable, what's the probability of success on each trial? And remember, one of the conditions for a geometric random variable is that probability of success does not change on each trial. Well, the probability of success is going to be equal to, there's four kings in a standard deck of 52, and this is the same thing as one over 13. So this first question is, what is the probability that I need to pick five cards? Well, this would be the probability that our geometric random variable x is equal to five. And you could actually figure this out by hand, but the whole point here is to think about how to use a calculator. And there is a function called geometpdf, which stands for geometric probability distribution function, where what you have to pass it is the probability of success on any given trial, one out of 13, and then the particular, pro the particular value of that random variable that you want to figure out the probability for. So five right over there. Now, just to be clear, if you're doing this on an AP exam, and this is one of the reasons why a calculator is useful, you actually can use this on an AP exam, AP statistics exam. It's important to tell the graders, if you're doing it on the free response, that this right over here is your P, and that this right over here is your five, just so it's very clear that where you actually got this information from, or why you're actually typing it in. But let's just see how it works, what this probability is actually going to amount to. All right, so I have my calculator now. And I just need to type in geomet PDF and then those parameters. And so the place where I find that function, I press second distribution right over here. It's this little blue above the vars button. And then I can click up, I could scroll down, or I could just go to the bottom of the list. And you can see the second from the bottom is geomet PDF. I'll click enter there. My p value, my probability of success on each trial is one out of 13. And I want to figure out the probability that I have to pick five cards. And so then, click Enter, click Enter again, and there you have it. It's about 0 0.056. So this is approximately, approximately 0 0.056. Now let's answer another question. So here, they say, what is the probability that I need to pick less than 10 cards? So this is the probability that x is less than 10. Or I could say this is equal to the probability that x is less than or equal to nine. And I could say, well, this is the probability that x is equal to one, plus the probability that x is equal to two, all the way to the probability that x is equal to nine. But that would take a while, even if I used this function right over here. But lucky for us, there's a cumulative distribution function. I take some space from the next question. This is going to be equal to geo, Met CDF, cumulative distribution function. And once again, I pass the probability of success on any trial, and then up to and including nine. And so let's get the calculator out again. So we go to second distribution. I click up, and there we have geomet cumulative distribution function. Press enter. One out of 13 chance of success on any trial, up to and including nine, and then enter. And there you have it, it's approximately 51.3% or 0.513. So this is approximately 0.513. Now let's do one more. What is the probability that I need to pick more than 12 cards? And like, I'll pause the video and see if you can figure this one out. What, what function would I use on my calculator? Or how would I set it up? Well, the probability, this is the probability that x is going to be greater than 12, which is, equal to one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 12. And now this, we can just use the cumulative distribution function again. So this is one minus geomet CDF, cumulative distribution function, CDF of one over 13 
and up to and including 12. And so what is this going to be equal to? So second distribution, I click up, I get to the function, click enter, and so I already have that first, the probability of success on every trial is one over 13, and then cumulative up to 12. And so I click enter, and then, well I could click enter there, but I really want to get one minus this value. And so I can do one minus second answer, which would be just one minus that value, which will be equal to, there you have it, it's about 38.3% or 0.383. So this is approximately equal to 0.383. And we're done.